Hey everyone, it's Ben with Inside Look at Packaging. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my review after one year of owning and operating the VIP Color VP650 inkjet printer. If this is your first time watching this channel, welcome. On this channel, we bring you tips, tricks, and industry secrets around packaging, as well as help educate you to feel more comfortable and confident in your packaging decisions. Now, again, if this is your first time joining us or you've seen multiple of our videos, I highly encourage you to hit the subscribe button as well as turn on notifications so that you won't miss a single video as we put them out weekly. Now, let's jump into the content of this video. As I mentioned in the intro, I've been printing and using uh, a VIP color inkjet printer and specifically for labels uh, for the company that I work for. I've had it now for about a year and have printed probably over a million labels, uh, which doesn't sound like a lot uh, from a large scale label production or printing uh, because those run very fast if it's flexo, if it's digital. When I'm talking about I'm printing a million labels, I'm talking about single width, so it's just one label at a time, uh, and they're on rolls of about 1,000 to 2,000 labels. And I've definitely learned all the little tricks with the printer, um, and so I thought that now would be a great time to share um, what I love about this printer and how it helps our business, um, as well as some of the practical um, kind of expertise that I've found out. So uh, this video is going to kind of be in multiple parts. We're going to, I'm going to show you a bunch of clips of the printer, unboxing uh, the printer, how it will come if you order one yourself. Um, and we'll kind of go over that um, as well as kind of talk through a little bit of how to actually set up uh, the labels to go through the printer from the um, unwinder through the printer to the rewinder if you're making rolls um, and so we'll kind of walk through those things and I'll, I'll kind of talk over some clips again uh, at the end I will just share you know how this has really helped um, our business and help us to stay flexible. Now to unbox in the VIP 650 the VP650 is going to use our CMYK colors um, to print these labels. Um, and if you're not familiar with what CMYK stands for, that's going to be cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And you can see that um, we have some ink cartridges here as well as the print heads. Um, and there are multiple because we had ordered multiple printers. Um, but it will be shipped with the five colors. Um, there's two blacks because um, you use a lot of black um, in just black and white labels. And now we're going to jump to actually unboxing the printer itself. VP650 uh, is going to be packaged very well. Um, it is going to be protected. Uh, it is shipped from overseas um, to California um, and then distributed in the United States from California. Um, and so the packaging is very... Uh, very good coming from a packaging professional. Um, I definitely approve and I appreciate um, the job they put into that. Well, as we're unwrapping here, um, kind of this waterproof barrier bag um, for the printer itself, let's talk about some of the key specs to this printer. Um, and the first one being that this printer can print color labels um, at eight inches per second. Now, if you kind of break that out, um, say a four by six label that's often used for maybe case labels, that is going to be over a thousand labels under 10 minutes, uh, which is actually quite quick. Um, and again, it's going to be printing one label at a time. Um, and so, and you will see in clips here coming up that uh, we're going to show some labels actually being printed. Um, and it does move quite quickly. Um, some other points here that you can see on the front um, of the printer there is that it can print waterproof or water resistant labels. Um, this is quite a benefit to food production or any kind of food item um, for the reason of slack and freeze 
Um, and you know, obviously, if it's a, a drink, you're going to have that moisture build up on the outside, kind of the perspiration um, of the fluid inside with the air outside, um, all of that kind of stuff. And so these labels can withstand. Um, the color's not going to bleed, um, and obviously it. it uh, definitely matters the material that you're using uh, for your label substrate if it's going to be a paper or plastic base um, but for the printer itself and the way that the ink is laid down on the label um, this is going to be water resistant um, and another factor that is not really advertised by VIP um, is actually and I, the reason I know this is because I've done testing for myself um, with these labels. If it's the right substrate, if it's a paper meant for this or a plastic meant for this, we can actually um, cook these labels on a product um, if it's in the microwave or in an oven of various um, manufacturers. Uh, these labels can withstand those temperatures and heat um, and, and the color doesn't fade. Um, again, it soaks right in uh, and, and stays, um, stays put when you're adding the heat or liquid to the label itself, um, which is, a, again, a great value for food manufacturers. Now that I've rambled on about the kind of pros of this printer um, and the labels that it can print, let's go here to the practical. Um, and so what you're seeing right now is uh, winding up the labels coming out of the printer from the unwinder which is to the far right um, on the screen there um, that's what puts the labels into the printer um, from a roll now they come out of the printer from underneath the print head and then they get wrapped up on the rewinder um, so a practical tip that I found out just using this printer is when they come out of the printer you hit the pause button on the interface which you will see here in a moment um, and then I um, will first before I hit the pause button um, I'm gonna let 10 labels go through and this gives you enough uh, labels and kind of a long enough strand to fit it underneath that arm um, that you saw me winding at the beginning um, and so you can see here that arm um, is kind of what sets the speed um, of the motor that is on the rewinder um, and so as these labels are coming out of the printer they're getting rolled up onto a core um, and so this label um, core and label roll will end up looking exactly like the labels that went in but they will be printed instead so as you can see we're going through the printer um, going in white coming out um, full color vibrant colors um, obviously this is a uh, cheeseburger product um, and again here is our interface. And you might be saying to yourself Ben it's great to see all of the technical pieces of the printer with the unboxing if I were to buy one also some of the tricks uh, and tips that you found out but but why should I buy one and I'm here to tell you because it helps you stay flexible now you might not think that flexibility is so key to business but trust me, on the day-to-day, -day, being able to be flexible and adjust with changes in our schedule, in freight, in uh, suppliers and customer orders, manufacturing, all of these things, uh, there's, there's things flying at you all the time and being able to be flexible is so, so important to your business success. Now, let me walk you through a scenario where flexibility and having this on-demand printing is so key to business success. Now, a customer hasn't ordered an item in quite a while and you have some components on hand. Maybe you have 75% of the labels needed for a new run, a production run, a day, whatever it is. And you have those on hand and they order all of a sudden and they want it next week. Now, if you've seen our other video about pre-printed packaging and labels, you may know that uh, having labels there's it's a quicker turnaround for lead time if you order these to have printed large scale but it's still going to be a couple weeks right now um, as of 
June of 2021, we're looking at four to six weeks um, to be able to get those printed and in. So now the customer wants it next week and to be able to fill that order, we're gonna need some labels. Now I can go directly to my printer and I have the files all saved and basically I can run for a few hours and have all the labels I need to finish that run. We're able to fill the customer order, we're able to stay flexible, and at the end of the day, in packaging, we're saving multiple people's work. So doing one simple thing like printing labels uh, is so, so helpful and helps the business to keep running efficiently. Maybe it's, you're a smaller scale and you know having a warehouse and, and production line, and all those, you don't have access to those and you don't need those. How, how does flexibility help you? Well, the other part of having the on-demand uh, printing capabilities for these labels is small business and small runs. Now, for me, I print probably about 30,000 labels at a time. That's say that's what we run in a day. Now, I have to print all of those on separate rolls. But if you're putting out a product that maybe you need only a hundred labels to, to be able to label your product and brand it and make it unique, you plug in a hundred and the, and the printer will print a hundred labels uh, and you'll be good to go. And maybe you accidentally ripped three labels. Now you just go and hit three labels, print that. This printer is so efficient uh, and is so worth the money to buy one. It's kind of a testament to how great this product is, how great this printer is, and how helpful it is for business. After having one printer for one year and kind of working through all these kinks um, and glitches, I, our, my company went back and bought three more printers to have at multiple of our production facilities so that we can stay efficient and flexible um, at multiple different locations. In the end, I would highly suggest the VP650 printer, especially if you're in the food industry, as it can print water resistant labels. For me in my business, we're sticking these labels in the freezer, we're also cooking in them in a microwave and even in an oven. And these and the print stands up great uh, and they look just as good as a label printed by a large printer manufacturer um, using flexography or digital printing presses. Now I hope you're able to find that review of the VIP 650 printer helpful in your decision and your research in looking at inkjet printers. Again, I would highly suggest and recommend this printer, especially if you're in the food industry, because it helps you stay flexible and efficient uh, with your production and filling customer orders. As always, make sure you hit the like button down below on this video if you found value in it. Make sure that you're subscribed and also comment down below your thoughts on the VIP 650, as well as maybe your experience with other label printers that you might have in-house or have experience with. Love to hear about those. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.